Hi, welcome or welcome back. I'm Mystic Rose. I'm so happy to have you here on my channel. Thank you for being here. Today's tarot pick a card reading is going to be so much fun. I've never ever done a topic like this before. Spirit gave me this idea and I was like, yes, it's so much fun. It's going to be all about which celebrities do you remind people of. So this could be with your physical appearance or your vibes that you're giving off or some combination of your vibes and your personality. All right. And your looks. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. And as a way to say thank you to all of you who are subscribed to my channel, I want to offer a subscriber bonus that's going to be all about why would your celebrity crush fall in love with you? So I have never done one of these either, but this was a subscriber recommended topic. So I thought, well, I'll tie it in and we'll do a bonus. So this is for my subscribers as my way again to say thank you. It's not too late to be considered as part of that reading and that energy. All you have to do is hit subscribe down below and um, you will be included in that energy of my subscriber base. So, all right. So you can choose from three gemstones or three images or a combination of gemstones and images. That's why they're there to kind of help you to feel it out, feel which pile or piles you're just most drawn to because sometimes you can be drawn to more than one and that's okay. It means that there's more than one message for you. So if you do feel drawn to watch more than one, there's a reason for it. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started without any further hesitation with today's tarot pick a card reading all about which famous celebrity do you remind people of? Hello and welcome to your gemstone selection. If you are drawn to tiger's eye, you'll choose pile number one. If you are drawn to this blue geode, you'll choose pile two. And if you are drawn to this light blue howlite, you'll choose pile three. Today we have a subscriber bonus. This is going to be for all of my subscribers as a special way to say thank you so much for being part of this awesome community. Love y'all so much. It's not too late to be considered as part of that bonus. All you have to do to be considered for part of that energy is hit subscribe today. So the main three pick a card piles are going to be focusing all about which celebrities do you remind people of and why? And then the bonus for my subscribers is going to be all about your celebrity crush and what would make them fall in love with you. Okay? So I hope that you'll enjoy. And just as a little um, thing to remember, um, I've been getting people trying to scam me or pretend to be me in the um, comments. Know that I will never reach out to you via email or in my comments section or anywhere asking you for anything ever. I will never ask you to contact me or buy anything from me in the comments section or anything like that. So those are scammers. What they've been doing is like copying my photograph and using um, my handle mystic rose and they've been um putting comments there that um were not from me okay so just be aware okay let's go ahead and get started hello if you chose image one or this beautiful tiger's eye you are in the right place for today's tarot pick a card reading. I'm going to cleanse the space and then I'll say a connection prayer to spirit and we'll get started. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pal one collective all about the question at hand spirit and please speak through me as you always do. Thank you spirit. I will be laying down letter tiles at the end of today's um, reading after the tarot segment and um, 
I don't know. I might, might channel a few names while I'm setting them down because sometimes it just, you know, helps um, to pass the time while I'm putting the letter tiles down to channel some names. So I may do that. And I'm going to be using some, um, casting some charms today. So that should be really fun too. All right. And, um, we're going to be talking about which celebrities, um, and I'm going to be channeling this stuff. So <laughs> this is all going to be from spirit. Um, I'll be channeling, um, which celebrities, um, you really remind people of be it you know with your looks your vibes your personality and that kind of stuff okay so it should be really really fun i've never done a type of reading like this before um and don't forget about the subscriber bonus today um as my way of saying thank you to all of you who are part of this awesome community um it's gonna be all about um your celebrity crush and um how wh what would make them fall in love with you okay all right okay so three of cups is like the card that you get when you're talking about like friendship and stuff like that um seven of cups wow okay so what I'm going to be doing, I want to explain this to you. I'm laying down tarot cards and then I'm going to um, get an impression based on from these a psychic impression and um, I'm going to be channeling spirit throughout this whole session. So I'm already starting to get an idea here. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. We've got the Three of Cups, the Seven of Cups, King of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Creator, and Justice. So this is really kind of like a dual nature that you have, which embodies air and water, which is interesting. An interesting juxtaposition because I wasn't not expecting that. <laughs> To be honest, I didn't know what to expect with this kind of reading. I've never done this type of reading before. Um, oh, and by the way, before I forget, please do not be scammed by people trying to impersonate me in the comments section. Um, if if any, I just wanted to say this because this is really important for everybody. If you miss this, I will never reach out to you in the comments or otherwise and ask you to buy anything or ask you to message me or anything like that. So please do not be fooled. Yes, this person copied my picture and they use my name, Mystic Rose, and they try to um, copy people. Um, they're, they're trying to copy me and they're trying to impersonate me and um, they're trying to get people to buy things and stuff like that. So just beware, okay? All right. Anyways, I had to say that before we moved on because I care about you guys and I don't want y'all to get... Um, swindled okay because i don't know what they're trying to do <laughs> these impersonators these scammer types um all right i'm also going to be using the loteria cards today millennium Lot oh wow that one jumped right out last spills the tea oh boy last spills the tea ldj i love it i love it all right, what I'm going to do, I got to just kind of like make a little bit more room. So I think I'll move this one out of the way. I'll just put this, you know, I don't want to like have it be imbalanced. So I'll just keep it like that. I like to keep it balanced. But just know that the Nine of Pentacles is here for you, which means that, um, yeah, that's like the abundancy energy. So anyway, I was saying you have like the water type of energy and the air energy kind of combined so the celebrities i was thinking of immediately and i've got to get my um device ready to show you photographs um okay. so sorry for the squeaky chair um anyways okay so i am seeing right away a, a person of mystery 
of and also somebody somebody not only with an air of mystery somebody who is um a very lovable person so there i'm getting like four or five different celebrities i will say some male and female ones okay both that that spirit gives me um and i'm getting is this first one actually two are coming through and they're both from the friends tv show one is um i'm seeing his i'm seeing him in my mind i think his name is joey from friends okay um so this is you know okay this is him joey tribbiani fictional character character from yeah this is him and the character is um i mean i really don't know anything about him as a person but the him is the character joey from friends it's like this playful fun vibe you know and so i do think that some of you are going to resonate with this fun and playful vibe like joey gerbiani from friends you could also have dark hair or look like this or have like a squ um, square jawline okay and the other one for um my feminines out there would be I was seeing somebody like very, very, I want to say fun, loving, fun personality, a little bit of mystery, maybe quirky. So Phoebe from Friends came to mind. She has that quirky, fun personality. Um, she also kind of like looks like Sabrina the Teenage Witch a little bit. So you could kind of resonate with that, that vibe as well. The um, actress from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. But yeah, here's Phoebe. This was Phoebe from Friends. So, oh, she had such a funny personality. She was a little bit of a, a woman of mystery. Quirky, fun, cool. Um, yeah, she was like very eccentric. She played the guitar. She used to make up her own music. Very free-spirited, very generous. Always in a good mood. You know, she could make people laugh when anybody was down around her. She could always make people laugh. And she was always like, always had a lot going on. She was like, never boring, you know? <laughs> she was never, ever boring. So Seven of Cups here, you know, talks about like a lot of, having a lot of options and a lot of things going on. Um, and I mean, the Three of Cups is all about friendship. See how these three are hugging? So yeah, that's why, that's what led me to this. And Spirit was saying Friends, the TV show Friends. So we've definitely got joey and phoebe from friends okay those characters um so you're just like um fun loving cu like cute adorable i want to say hilarious and you have a great little quirky side about you too um maybe you're the kind of person that really enjoys like spilling the tea or maybe you like gossip or you like to um I don't know, you kind of like to, like, be, not be mean, but, like, like, you like to know everything about everybody, you know what I mean? And you like to be in the know, and you like to find out things about people, and keep people up to, updated about, you know, other people, and be like, oh, did you hear about so-and-so? <laughs> and it's not, in, like, a mean way, but it's just, like, you know, keeping everybody informed. And, yeah, I really do think, too, with, like, LDJ that you could really like music or play a musical instrument or sing or something like that. Like, in Friends, Phoebe used to sing in the coffee shop. So, um, yeah, that is really coming through. And, you know, the other thing about her, she was, oh, such a loving person. And that also just takes me right around full circle to... Um, the natural charm and playful spirit of Janet Jackson. Do you guys know who that is? Let me show you. I have my device here. Um, I'm going to type it in. Um, wait till you see her smile. You could look like her or just have vibes like her. She's so playful. Um, look at her fun. She's high. Her fun ponytail. She's such a high energy person. Um, oftentimes she will have her hair up in some kind of high ponytail. You could have like a little cute mole on your face somewhere like that or a beauty mark, long eyelashes. Um, see how she also has like an interesting style or like a uniqueness about her with the jewelry. Like I've never seen a necklace like that before. That's really cool. Um, she's super talented as a, as a musician too. So I think that's another reason why Spirit was bringing her to my mind because, 
yeah, she is just, look at how adorable she is. She's cute and she's funny and um, playful for sure. Definitely like very charming and a true lover, a true beauty as well. You could like to experiment with like, um, I don't know why I was hearing like short hair, long hair, um, hair pieces or wigs or extensions or something like that. Or even lash lashes, like falsies and stuff like that. Um, another really, really powerful presence that Spirit is telling me, um, that is whispering in my ear is Rihanna. Okay. Uh, I gotta look up how to spell that because I'm not really sure. Oh my gosh, look at that. Another one of these high energy, playful, um singer types super talented like i said like you could look like um or like any of these people or have like the um the energy the you know overall the overall essence isn't she a cutie though i think that you know you look very young and spunky you could have uh you could have multiple piercings and very bright eyes. Very, very bright eyes. Okay. I'm also getting another one. It seems kind of random. But this is going to appeal to the air sign. Okay? Because Spirit is showing me somebody here that would appeal to this air sign. It's kind of like a playful, sort of like um, girlish charm, I want to say. Um, do you guys know the show Married with Children with, like, the main character was named Al Bundy and then there was a daughter? I'm seeing the girl in my mind. I'm not sure of her name. I'm gonna look it up real quick, okay? Yes! Okay, here it is. Okay, here she is. Kelly Bundy is her name. That was her character name, fictional character name from Married with Children. And she was kind of like a wild girl. She, um... She definitely had like these charms about her. She could charm anyone. She was very, 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 very beautiful. And she had sensual charm. Um, kind of like a mature sensuality um, and girlish charms. And just like one of those people that, I don't know, like I could see like her rolling her eyes in my head. Like I, I, I used to watch that show when I was um, younger. And I remember like her character she was kind of like one of those teens that was kind of like unamused. <laughs> so you could be like a mixture of fun loving and like funny and stuff like that. And then have your days or your moods where you're just like uh, so unimpressed <laughs> and like crossing your arms and like rolling your eyes and just be like, yeah, mm, what? <laughs> so, or, or I could be having two different, very different people within this pile. But yeah, that's who is um who spirit is bringing to mind is kelly bundy from married with children um okay i am going to just tell you a little bit more about what i'm seeing here in the cards like as far as like the personality somebody who's like very fair and with the with the justice card there okay Oops, sorry. This darn squeaky chair, it's driving me crazy. Okay, Spirit just gave me another download. Um, I was thinking of that Mary from Something About Mary that's such a sweetie pie and everyone loves her. Oh my gosh. Um, and her, okay, her actual name. Let me see. So she was from, oh, what was it? Something About Mary. Let me look this up, okay something about Mary. <laughs> it was a funny movie. It was really funny, but it's a 1998 comedy and romance and it has Cameron Diaz. Yes. Yes. Cameron Diaz. And she was just one of those like sweethearts, you know, um, funny again, funny and almost like an innocent way. And truly playful but also has a great heart i mean look at and if you remember in the movie like her brother had special needs and she 
because of that and her gigantic heart she was like really really good with um people with special needs and she was also just like very very sweet as a person so that's what um spirit was showing me so i think that like you know what spirit is telling me by showing me that is that you you have that kind of like either you look like that or you look and act like that like people you know people can fall in love with you fast because if you remember in that movie she had about I want to say like four different men that were in love with her at one point in time and they were all trying to like get with her <laughs> so yeah I mean seven of cups is all about options so you know people look at you and they think you have a lot of options when it comes to dating yeah she was such a sweetheart though you definitely have like that vibe like you're um, everybody's sweetheart, um, and people want to compete for your attention. People can fall in love with you very fast. I mean, we have the two of cups here, so yeah, that definitely tells me that people can fall in love with you so fast because of who you are and also paired with how you look, and, um, wow, people get very, very hung up on your energy. I feel like it's hard for people to move on they do get kind of um stuck on your energy and it's very hard to replace you so i just heard too from spirit that like you have a very nice stomach region and chest region and a lot of people notice this about you as some of your very nicest traits of your body including really great hair um some of you could have blonde hair because there were a few blondes that came through today but um it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have blonde hair in order for this to apply to you um oh gosh now i'm seeing a brunette actually she might have red hair i'm seeing in my mind spirit is showing me that dumb and dumber um mary is her name i think i want to say is that her name it's another mary okay that's crazy spirit uh okay so let me show you this was another sweetheart uh her her name was mary in the movie she was from dumb and dumber and if you've never seen that movie she's the person that lloyd which was jim carrey fell in love with and let me show you a picture so this is the movie, Dom and Dahmer. Okay. You may have remembered, if you've seen that, you, you couldn't forget this movie if you've seen it. Such a silly movie. And Mary was the brunette or redhead. I can't remember. Let me look it up and I'll be right back. Okay, Mary was a redhead. And again, you know, she was very beautiful, had a, had a nice looking face great smile, um, bright eyes, and almost like the same length hair as the other Mary from the other movie. So maybe your hair is around that length, like shoulder length or, or shorter. But like I said, it doesn't have to be. But yeah, what I'm seeing here is again, same type of thing where you got somebody who's like very, very cute, very pretty, and yet also has a heart of gold. And, uh, yeah people really love that about you so they do tend to fall in love with you i remember in the movie dumb and dumber lloyd and harry were fighting over her a little bit and um lloyd went on a on a date with her and harry got mad and they it almost broke up their friendship oh <laughs> uh, i don't want to spoil the whole thing for you so if you haven't seen dumb and dumber part one you've got to watch it so yeah she had quite an effect on him too i remember that he fumbled a lot with his words so what that tells me is that sometimes you make people fumble their words because they get really really extremely turned on around you very turned on um and with all the blood rushing from their head to their you know other places in their body because they're excited they tend to forget their words like they literally trip up on their words and stuff 
also I'm getting to from spirit that like it may be easy to elicit a laugh from you because I just I'm seeing in my mind somebody who's just like laughing and laughing and you're such a good friend too not just friend but like somebody who has a contagious laugh and you it's easy to elicit a laugh out of you because you enjoy life like you actually like life and you like yourself and I'm also seeing somebody who like you may really like clothing so you may like to put a lot of effort into your outfits and you could have a really quirky cool sense of style your smile just really radiates a lot of joy more than you really even know and when you smile you look that much more attractive many people would agree with that all right i'm being shown a ruby like okay a red red ruby i wonder why red is a color of like love and can be like the heart chakra this is definitely a, something that is standing out to me that is unique that spirit is bringing through so let me look up the meaning of a red ruby okay so it says here that um, red rubies are associated with love passion vitality and strength and they're believed that when you wear them they bring good luck success and prosperity red rubies yes yeah, so that would be you know a symbol of passion and so it's a very lush color i mean look at this ruby gemstone it's just so beautiful such a vivid color you could really look good in a ruby colored lipstick or if you wanted to add this color to your wardrobe spirit is telling me like it would really spice it up and it would bring out or highlight some of your best features if you were to choose some kind of like lip color like that if you are into lip colors okay all right I think what I'll do next is um, get into the letter tile portion and cast some charms, okay? See what else we can find out. Sometimes people like this portion of the reading because uh, it is a place where you can get confirmations and say, hey, you know what, that is my pile. So you can look for your initials. I may say your name or some names of people that you know, let that just be a uh, confirmation that this is in fact your pile, okay? Uh, if I don't say your name, that's okay too. It's okay because you could find your initials in the tiles. This is just for extra confirmation anyways. And if you don't enjoy this segment, then my suggestion would be to go check out the subscriber bonus. Okay. If you're interested in that. Which is all about why your crush would fall in love with you. Celebrity crush. But here we go. I'm going to go ahead and say some names that I'm hearing from Spirit and seeing in the tiles. I was seeing uh, Colton, Dalton. Cody, Lottie, Lennox, Tina, Heather, Linda, Larry, Latrice, Letitia, Latisse. I might have said that already. Sometimes I'll say names a couple times. Penny, Patrice, Paris, Aria, Allie, Ben, Parker, that could even be a last name, 
Denia, Damien, Zara, Sasha, Raya, Richard, I think that's actually probably good enough. I was going to do another line, but I think that's probably good enough. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. Sarah. Tony. Tanisha. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Hopefully that's enough letters for you to see. Like I said, if you don't see your name or initials, I don't like duplicates in here. So let me get a different one because I don't like duplicates. Um, Kendra, Kenny, Kenneth, Katya, Karen. I don't know. I feel like it's not enough. Um, yeah, no, I think it's okay. I'll just keep these. I'll keep the V there, but yeah. Okay. Now, because Spirit was like, keep going, keep going. All right, so yeah. Veto. Veto. So look for your name or your initials, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, draw some tiles. You definitely make people happy because we have the Christmas tree, which is always about like magic, the magic of happiness and gift giving. You're like, people consider you to be a gift. You could be an Aries. Or there's an Aries who thinks you're very special. We have a squirrel here. Which reminds me of like... I guess conservativeness or like um, saving. Maybe you're a good saver. Resourcefulness. Maybe you're very resourceful. Visited by a loved one. Spirit and message. In spirit. So some there is a loved one who's trying to get a message to you. In spirit. Also, we have the alien. You could really like aliens or um, resonate with aliens. We have the child and love. You could have a child. Some of you could have a child or be pregnant. And we have um, a present. So that's interesting that we got the present and the Christmas tree. There could be something special about Christmas. Maybe you have a December birthday. Okay. So definitely let me know <clears throat> if this reading resonated with you. Okay. And I would love to know. If you want to leave me a comment, that would be great. Okay. And also please head to the subscriber bonus where we're going to be talking about why or what would make your celebrity crush fall in love with you. Hello and welcome. Oh my goodness, this has been so much fun. I just got done with pile one and what a blast. Today's pick a card is going to be all about a new topic I've never done before. What celebrity do you remind people of and why? And there will be males and females and, um, you know, so this will appeal to all, all types of people. And I'll be going into like, you know, this could be like your physical traits. This could also be your personality and your vibes. And as a bonus, I will be offering, uh, it's a subscriber bonus. So everybody who subscribed to me, I'm going to be channeling your energy. It's not too late to be included in that, by the way. Um, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button to be 
entered and I will read your energy. It's my way of saying thank you. And this is all about, it's going to be so much fun. Why would your celebrity crush fall in love with you? And this was inspired by um, a subscriber who actually came up with this topic and said, hey, will you do this topic? And I was like, yeah, you know, I think I will. I will tie it into my subscriber bonus. So there you go. So thank you to the subscriber who recommended this um, topic. At the end of today's reading, I will be putting some letter tiles here and I will be doing a little bit of channeling and it's going to be fun. That's just the confirmations part. I'll be casting some charms as well. I'm going to go ahead and spray my cleansing spray and bring in spirit and we can get started. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my Pile 2 Collective, all about the questions at hand, and speak through me as you always do, Spirit. Thank you. So we're going to be diving deep into a few celebrities, um, and these will be celebrities that you either look like or you vibe with and you really remind other people of them. Okay, so... I'm getting the Eight of Pentacles. That's a really good card. It's about somebody who is a good um, earner, good saver, very good with money. Lucky, somebody very lucky. Somebody who's almost like a little bit hard to get, okay? Not somebody who's just necessarily going to give the goods away. <laughs> this is somebody who has standards, okay? High value person here, high value individual. Knight of Cups, very loving. Four of Pentacles. Yes, good at saving. You are very stable. Stable-minded, stable with your finances. All right. So, this is going to be so much fun. I'm already starting to see somebody very powerful in my mind. And this is somebody who really is just one example okay so if you're like oh i don't know about that one just stay just stay tuned because i'm gonna bring i'm gonna have spirit bring through quite a few here about maybe four or five people i am getting strong beyonce vibes okay i'm getting very strong uh you know that song who run the world girls girls who run the world girls girls okay what you need to do is watch that video either you know you can pause this video and open another screen and watch that video right now or watch it when you're done because you've got those beyonce vibes okay whether you realize it or not you could look like her but even more so than that like you have those kinds of vibes and traits the way she looks in that video it's like she is a powerhouse nothing to mess with so that is what is really really coming through is that you have goddess vibes you know i am really really sensing like aphrodite types of power powerful vibes isis inanna and you have queen energy that's the that's the whole truth of it is that you have queen energy so another one that spirit is showing me in my mind is Serena Williams, she's a tennis player, but she's fierce. She's fierce. Let me show you um, a picture of her. And you could look like her or you could embody some of her mannerisms or um, some of her personality traits. So let's, Serena Williams, let me just show you a picture. Okay. Here she is. She's very muscular as well. You could be very into fitness. You could be very muscular, very strong, mentally and bodily strong. She's a winner. She's definitely a winner type of person. Very, very much a winner. So there's Serena Williams. Yeah, so she's very, she's all about like 
drive forward and competitiveness and structure and discipline and strategic thinking but also with the hermit here this is about virgoan energy virgos which virgos are very like into like perfectionism you know they can be a little too hard on themselves so that kind of you know does remind me of of her vibes because she's a perfectionist okay i know for a fact beyonce is too they're both they strive to be the very best that they can be so this is why you remind people of those two celebrities in particular i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle i forgot i was gonna lay these down too you really watch your um diet too and what you eat you eat healthy or at least people think you do you may, may be very health conscientious okay so you could be into like fitness and very very uh what do you call it i want to say like self self-motivated you have a lot of self-control and willpower and you're happy we have the le boy but it's in reverse so you're you are a happy person even though you're very serious and you're you are a winner and you're a powerhouse and you're powerful you also have a side of you where you're just very happy but when it, when push comes to shove you're a fighter and you can really go for what you want you're very ambitious and i could see some of you could be like a real shark in the courthouse if you're a lawyer or you could be a great advocate you just have a feistiness about you some of you too could be sort of somebody who's very fluid with the gender fluidness you could um if you're a woman you could have a lot of masculinity or masculine traits if you're uh um somebody who is a man or who you know identifies as a man you could have a lot of feminine traits about you and spirit is showing me a very famous actress her name was marlene dietrich and she was a perfect blend of both. In fact, she was uh, one of the first bisexuals on screen, on the Hollywood screen. And this was back in the 1950s, I want to say, or 40s. Let me look her up and I will show you Marlene Dietrich. She had an unbelievable way of blending masculine and feminine energies that was tantalizing honestly people didn't know how to take her energy they were just like almost like awestruck by her it was something different it was something new but she would wear ties she would wear suits and ties look at her she was sultry she was seductive but she could wear a tie okay she could wear a top hat she could wear blazers and and look very very nice she could wear furs and dresses brooches hats and very feminine things or like i said she could wear a, a suit and tie or uh some kind of hat which would typically be considered a man's hat in the past but nowadays there's a lot of blending so oh here we go here's a perfect here's another picture of her see how she's she, i just heard she's one tough cookie <laughs> that's what spirit told me she's one tough cookie she's a baddie um she's a she is so that is oh my gosh spirit is bringing something else i think this her name is sharon stone okay spirit is giving me another example of this i'm seeing the movie basic instincts is that sharon stone Sharon Stone, Basic Instincts. Let me see if that's who it is. Yes, it is. It is. So I don't want to spoil the movie for you, but she's definitely one of those femme fatales. And she has somewhat dangerous vibes. Like you wouldn't want to mess with her. She's very very sultry her body language says it all i think that you're very good at conveying how you feel with your body language and you really do have this confidence and like people don't want to like mess with you and like i want to say like piss you off <laughs> because you know how to advocate for yourself 
so and yeah and and here she is just she almost looks like so i can't really explain it but like so beautiful with like no makeup on she has no literally no makeup on but yet she has like a clean fresh face which tells me that you could be one of those people that maybe you just like a little bit of makeup or no makeup and you still look really great you still know how to pull it off scorpio pisces cancer here with the knight of cups so you're somebody who's just very loving and uh very very intuitive very naturally in intuitive and you could be very in touch with your emotions but like to the outsiders you kind of seem like not in touch with your emotions you seem tough like you have to have a hard outer shell you could have a lot of cancerian energy inside of you but yeah um you have a lot of like coquettish type of vibes about you and I, I heard the word detachment so you could kind of like appear detached emotionally detached so i was hearing boss energy some of you could be somebody who may be like in the corporate world you could be in charge in the corporate world you could be a manager you could be a business mogul you could be an executive manager boss executive administrator you just have a strength and power about you it's something you're very very good at is taking charge in a responsible authoritative way and you don't abuse your power you could even be a beautiful dancer because you have a move like you're a dancer i'm seeing somebody who's walking around and even when you're walking around at work even if you're wearing like a blazer and a skirt or a blazer and slacks or whatever the way you move with your body is just very like i i don't know it's hard to explain but you look like you could be a dancer it's something about it is fluid and confident so you almost look like you've had dance training your posture is very good like a dancer would be you almost like embody the kind of energy where it's sort of like teasing teasing energy i don't know there's something about your energy where you're very sensual in your nature but because you kind of have those vibes like eh, i don't know next please <laughs> um you won't settle for crumbs you want the whole cake i get it i get it and you don't you shouldn't have to settle but yeah people see you as this way i just i just heard like beauty i just heard that like spirit was screaming that you are a beauty know your worth you are a beauty in my mind i'm thinking of that sam from sex in the city oh my gosh that tv show you know her boyfriend smith he was like oh gosh 20 years younger than her and she was just like so disinterested like yeah i'm not really interested in in settling down and he, and at first he had all these different options of women that were like you know a lot younger and he didn't care because he liked sam it was kim cattrall from that show and what a great show she was so almost like nonchalant i want to say she was very va va boom in her energy so you could have body language like this almost like coy or coquettish yeah coy or coquettish a little bit it's hard to explain but you know that you look good and you know that you won't settle for less than what you deserve and, it, and you can tell on the expression on your face it's that kind of look like i don't know like i'd rather be somewhere else where i don't know like it's i know that you're a nice person and people know that too but it's just like high value a high value person is just not going to be easily swayed or easily um entertained by s s silliness or people trying to impress you you're gonna have like a high standards means you're going to wait until the right person comes along that treats you like a queen that you are or a king that you are and you don't have to settle but yeah you do seem kind of like that and so in that show 
Smith, who was like half her age, was like chasing her. Because I just heard, you don't chase, you attract because of your energy. But he was literally chasing her. And he was like, you know, he wanted her to commit. And after a while, like it took years. But after a while, she was like, okay, I guess I will. But yeah, he had to really convince her. And it made him want her that much more because she wasn't ready to commit or didn't want to. And so it's just that you seem kind of like independent. You could just be very, very good in the workplace and you're very independent with your money, your finances, and you don't really need per se, but you would like to have a person in your life romantically. There is an intensity about you. And I think that a lot of people would love to compete for your attention or get your attention. Because I would, like spirit was showing me like somebody going like, hey, over here. <laughs> so, yeah, but you do have intensity in your eyes. And you are smoldering hot. Uh, I've just got to say that because I am seeing an image in my mind of like a, a hot pepper. And I heard that smoldering hot. And I don't know why I was hearing, but I was hearing you are one hot mama. So some of you, I don't know if you, you are a mom or something like that, if you have kids, but I was hearing you're one hot mama for my ladies out there who have kids. And of course, there's a lot of different types of people watching this, but that's what Spirit, Spirit was saying. There's some hot mamas out there watching today. You are somebody who when you like somebody you can come off as very flirty and it's fun it's fun to talk to you you have a, a wonderful walk like i mentioned the way you talk oh you know what spirit's um, showing me is that there's a singer how do you say her name is it Sade? sade she okay let me look it up but she has a very husky type of voice and spirit is showing me this so uh let me see if I can show you her and maybe, oh, maybe you look like her too. She's a singer. And she has a really sultry voice. She's a Nigerian British singer. But like I said, I don't know if it's Sade or Sade, but here she is. And you should listen to her sing. She has a very, very husky or sultry kind of voice. So that just, what that tells me is that people love your voice as well as your essence and your look. But again, I mean, look at, she's wearing a blazer and she's kind of got that, you know, business authority look here going on. Wow, that's amazing. I, this is why I love doing channeling because you never know what spirit will bring through. It's so much fun. Yeah, so you give people a lot of sensations is what I was really picking up on. You give people a lot of like that, that funny feeling like, oh, I what would I do to be by that person or like be next to you or be you know what I mean like you you make people really stop and think you have quite a presence about you part of it is your beauty and part of it is that empowerment and you could even have like a lot of fans or followers or admirers or just people that want to be with you You definitely know how to command attention when you walk into a room or some kind of a space. You know how to fill the space with your presence. I will say that. And Spirit is telling me too that you can tame some of the most hard-headed people. Some of the most hard-to-get or difficult people will be submissive to you. <laughs> They're going to want to like settle for you. I was really hearing that. And you can also turn people's moods upside down like that. Like you can actually, something about your presence can, and when, like when you smile on people, it's like the whole world is smiling on them. That's how they feel. That's how you make people feel, which is quite a compliment. That's awesome. So thank you, Spirit, for bringing that through. What I'd like to do now is I would like to 
channel a few names uh, and I will lay down some letter tiles and then I'm going to cast some, some charms so that we can look into this a little bit more. So if you don't enjoy this part, it's okay. This is just for extra confirmation anyway. You can go to the subscriber bonus and all you do is hit subscribe if you haven't yet. And um, this is my way of saying thank you for being part of um, the community. But this part is the confirmations part. And the subscriber bonus is actually in the timestamps after one, two, and three. You'll see piles one, two, and three. Then there will be something that says subscriber bonus. And that is where you click. And that is going to be all about why would your celebrity crush fall in love with you? Or what would your celebrity crush like about you? Okay, so that'll be really fun. As far as names here, uh, well, I was hearing Idaho. You could be from Idaho, India, Indiana. And I was hearing the name Shania um, and Don, Donna. Some of you could be on a diet right now. A special diet also I just wanted to put this out there if I don't say your name I could say your first middle or last or some people you know just to let you know that this is your pile but if I don't say your name at all it's okay um, look for your name or initials in the tiles and if you still don't see anything you could either try a different pile or just use this as you know extra confirmation for fun um, I was hearing Celtic, so you could be Irish or really like the Celtic heritage or culture. Gretel, Greta, Eunice, Ursula, Naomi. I was hearing Escher, so some of you could be artists. Nate, Nathaniel, Rodriguez, that could be a last name, Rodrigo. It reminds me of Olivia Rodrigo. Maybe some of you like her music or your first name could be Olivia. Andreas. Zelda, Zachariah, Blake, Sue, Anne or Anna, Annie, Parimas, Hadesh, Ines, Maya, Mikkel, Mindy, Mandy, Brandy, Stella, Cheyenne, Sheila, Nico, Rod, that reminds me of Rod Stewart. Maybe there's something there with the name Rod or the name Stewart, or you could be a fan of Rod Stewart. Some of you could own a pug. It's a puggle or a puggle or a pug, pug or even a beagle. Dogs. Okay. Some of you could be a breeder of dogs. I'll say a few more names. Okay. And then I was also chan channeling something. Oh, it's a rapper. It's a female rapper. Um, I'll think of it, but it was like, yeah, I will think of it, and I'll let I'll I'll let you know. Okay, that's probably good. So we've got. 
Sagittarius and somebody here recently got a haircut, you or somebody you know, just letting you be like just an extra confirmation. And oh my gosh, is that what I think it is? Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> Remember earlier? Thank you, Spirit. When I said that I was seeing, uh, um, what is this called? A hot pepper? There you go. It just came out in the charms. And you're a very loving person with a really eccentric sense of style and dressing. You could wear very bright colors or things that are daring and bold. Okay. Now let me look up that wrapper. Because I was hearing something like Bodak. Bodak. I don't know. Bodak yellow or something. I know that sounds really weird, but this is what Spirit was telling me. Bodak. And I don't know why that would be coming through. Oh, it's Cardi B. Uh, Bodak yellow. So maybe listen to that song that's coming through for somebody maybe you're like a really maybe you're a big fan of cardi b there's something definitely the song is coming through to be confirmation to somebody so if you're a big fan of cardi b definitely let me know oh you know what else you could look like her you could look like her that's I think that's another reason that Spirit is bringing her, her through. Let me show you what she looks like for those who do not know. That is Cardi B. That is Cardi B. She's a, a rapper. Okay. A rapper with a really fun sense of style. She likes to change her hair often too. So, thank you so much for being here. Please, please hit subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you already are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Go ahead and head on over to uh, my subscriber bonus and definitely enjoy that. It's going to be all about why would your celebrity crush fall in love with you? And if you'd like a personal reading, I do offer those. You can find more info in my description box below. And I have a Patreon for 18 plus readings. If you're interested in that, check out my description box below too. There's a link for my Patreon. And if you would like to donate money to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can do that by finding more information on how to do that in my description box below. It helps me to buy things for the channel, such as new cards, candles, and things like that. So, never expected, but always appreciated. Much love to you all. Stay beautiful and blessed, and until next time, bye. Hey, Pile 2. I forgot to include males in my Pile 2, so I connected with Spirit and I was able to bring through three males for this group. So the first male that came through is Henry Cavill. Cavill, I'm sorry. And he's he played Superman. And he's actually really, really handsome. And he's just one of those guys that's like super nice that everybody likes dark hair chiseled face so you could look like him or just be like this he's also like he has those executive types of vibes so here he is it's a little blurry i don't know why that's so blurry sometimes it takes a while for my thing to adjust but anyway you you get it that you get the point that is henry Cav cavill and the other person that Spirit was bringing through was Chris Hemsworth, who is an American actor. Just a very, almost like ruggedly handsome, very attractive man. Blue eyes, brown hair. He's very self-assured. You could just tell he's very, he keeps his body very healthy. And he's, he has a, a lot of confidence, but yet very nice. Very, like a good mix of somebody who, they don't have a huge ego. Okay, so you, I think that you could look like that or have that kind of vibe. And then Spirit was really, really bringing through the look of Jason Momoa. So 
uh, you don't really have to look exactly like him, but let me show you what he looks like too. He's basically somebody who a lot of women find attractive. And he was dating or married to the girl from the Cosby show for a while. I do not remember her name at this time, but this is him. So you could have like longer hair. Okay, you could have medium to long hair. Maybe you have like a couple of moles on your face or something like that. Possibly even around your eyes. Anyway, you have like a rugged, handsome kind of look about you, but yet see how he's wearing that blazer? Like he's rocking a blazer and the long hair. So you could have the ability to do both. You can have a very versatile look about you. You could be all about business, but also you could, you know, be sort of like a ruggedly handsome type too. He likes to experiment with all different kinds of colors and look at his eyebrow too. He's got I don't know if he's got a little scar there or it's just shaved or something. Maybe he did that for a movie, but you could have something like that. There he is with Lisa Bonet. Okay, so I'm thinking that that could be a scar in his eyebrow, but I'm not really sure. But you could have a scar on your face somewhere like that or on your eyebrow even. I really do. I think that could be a scar. Anyways, so let me know what you think of, you know, this reading for those of you who wanted, who were interested in knowing about the men and I hope this resonated with you and I hope that I see you on over at the subscriber bonus. Bye. Hello and welcome. If you chose image three or this light blue how light, you're at the right place for today's pick a card reading. I'm just going to connect with spirit and then we'll get started, okay? Spirit, please be here now with me and help me deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my how three collective. All about the question at hand and spirit, please speak through me as you always do. Thank you, spirit. All right, so I'm going to just spray some of my cleansing spray. Okay, so spirit, please. Sorry about that, my dog was barking. We had a package that was delivered and of course you know how dogs are. <laughs> oh wow, we got all these cards here. So we've got the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Ten of Swords. All right, what else? Ooh, 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 ooh. I just had a flash. I saw Kat Von D in my mind. I saw, I was seeing somebody who is kind of like a little bit, or like, you know, Marilyn Manson, um, the singer. Um, somebody who could possibly have goth or emo types of vibe. That could be one person, one or two people that are coming through here with this. With the Ten of Swords. That kind of reminds me of like emo vibes. Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords. Oh, lots of swords here. Ace of Wands, somebody who's very attractive. And, wow. Um, somebody who could have very dark hair. Brown or black, or even, I'm seeing red hair too. Somebody here could have multicolored hair, which is blonde and, I'm seeing blonde, pink, and a light brown honey kind of all mixed together i see here that you're mixed though you're not just somebody who appears like goth sometimes or reminds people of somebody who with goth energy you also have another side of you you have the business side of you where you can look very professional when you want to we have lachugi you have a nice casual style about you. Safe place. You definitely have like the vibes of somebody who is a safe place to go. People confide in you. You definitely have been 
in your lifetime you've been through some hard times but you've conquered it and risen up above it like the eagle you definitely have enigmatic energy like i want to say enigma a mystery i'm seeing in my mind like i said somebody very sultry and serene almost like otherworldly as i mentioned in the very beginning spirit was showing me kat von d and the singer marilyn manson i will show you kat von d just to give you an idea she's come through in my readings before uh, there's, there must be a lot of you that look like her or have this vibe. It's kind of a goth vibe or aesthetic. Okay, so you could look like this woman or you could have that vibe. Maybe you have a lot of tattoos. You could look really, really, really good with winged eyeliner, heavy makeup. Some of you could like to experiment with wearing different wigs. Some of you could have a tattoo on your neck or side of your face. It's not going to be for everybody, but stay tuned. I'm going to say about maybe five or six celebrities. So see which one resonates with you. Let me show you Marilyn Manson for the men. He definitely has like a, a goth or emo type of vibe. Okay, so that could be something that you vibe with or resonate with if you're a guy or if you're if you are a masculine. Maybe you have a lot of tattoos, maybe you like to even experiment with makeup. Okay. You could have a very I wanna say like mm, unique, very unique way of dressing and some of you whether you are it doesn't matter if you identify as male or female or anything in between basically you have a uniqueness about you you could wear colored contacts even okay and i'm also seeing though somebody who is more of kind of a classic hollywood type of look and her name is greta but i don't remember the last name let me see if I can Google it. <clears throat> okay, yes. She is a, a Swedish-American actress, Greta Garbo. And here she is. She has blonde hair. So, or maybe it was like, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Like, what color was it? Maybe like a brownish. But the thing is about her, she had a pretty smile. Serious looking eyes. When you have like a serious face some people are like wow <laughs> he means business or she means business like you know you look as serious as a heart attack like seriously you can almost like scare people with your serious look but sometimes or like when i say scare like intimidate but then when you smile it's like you can melt everybody's heart and you have a lot of star quality too like you have that certain it factor that star factor so that's why Spirit was bringing through Greta Garbo. I'm also seeing somebody else who resembles this would be, I want to say Eva Perone. I'm hearing that, but I don't know who that is. I'm hearing that in my mind, but yeah, I don't have any idea who that is. It says Eva Perone was the first lady of Argentina. Okay. Her nickname was Evita. She was an activist, an actress. Oh, okay. I did not know that. So that's who was coming through. Um, so you could have vibes like this. You could, you know, look like her or just kind of have those old, old Hollywood, classic Hollywood kind of vibes. Or like she was also one of those people that was like an advocate. Political somewhat feisty somebody who really stands firm in what they believe in not wishy-washy okay she did a lot of public speaking you could be somebody who 
is a public speaker. You could be somebody who, in conjunction with the star card, with the star qualities, you are somebody who maybe you're an influencer or something like that. Or you could be. Who else, Spirit, would be somebody famous that they could vibe with or look like or something like that that they remind people of? I'm seeing that. I, it's another Eva. It's funny. Spirit is bringing through Eva Perez now. And she was on the... I want to say the Real Housewives or something like that. Oh, yeah. Let me look it up and I will. Maybe it's Eva Mandez. Let me see. I can see her face in my mind. Eva Mandez. Mendez. Yes. 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 So you could look like her. She is an American actress. Eva Mendez. You could look like her. Okay, maybe you have like a mole somewhere on your face or a beauty mark. You could look really, really beautiful with a head wrap on, with, you know, your hair up. Almost like in like a beehive sort of design or look with big hoop earrings. Like you could totally pull that off. Okay. And I think you have a really natural feminine beauty about you but also you really do have like a baddie vibe about you like you could kick somebody's butt if you really really wanted to and you could have a square jawline you could have like sharp features okay maybe you have a nose like this The nose on her face looks good with her proportions. Everything about her looks perfect. And the thing about her too is even, even when she's getting older, she still looks great. She still looks amazing. I love her hair color here too, but you could have like the, the brown hair or the black hair. And you just... you. If you look like that, you're very lucky. <laughs> I want to just tell you that right now. If you look like that, you're very blessed. But also, she's just one of those easygoing gals. But also, kind of, can come across as like, maybe a little bit hard to get to know. So, that would be you. Queen of Swords is also somebody who has high standards. And Pentacles is a hard worker. And then Wands is somebody who's passionate and the Ten of Swords, that's for somebody who's been through a lot of pain. So you're somebody who's really, really well-rounded. I will say that. And yeah, also I noticed, I just happened to notice that there was a lot of like Ryan Gosling was in a lot of those photos. So there, it's very possible that you could look like Ryan Gosling too. Or have that brown hair, that chiseled face, and the nice killer smile. And... I really do feel like he has a kind heart, too. I was hearing Jordan Sparks. So, I don't know who that is, but I was hearing Jordan Sparks. Now I gotta look it up so I can show you who that is. Jordan Sparks. I think she's a singer. Jordan Sparks. You could look like her. Or maybe you sing very beautifully. Here she is. She's an American singer and actress. Okay, so perhaps you look like this. Also, I want to say she had a really big weight loss. You could have had a weight loss, okay? You could have a nose ring. She just, she's a very nice person too, like in her personal life, just very, very personal life. But she's also very focused on her career and she's super talented. So you, you know, especially if you are a singer, you really do remind people of 
Jordan Sparks with the way that you go after it, the way that you want it, and the way that you are so passionate. Okay. Um, I wanted to say too that like, you may think that like nobody notices you. I don't know why this is coming through. You may think you're kind of casual and you're not all that special, but that's not true. Even when you're wearing like a sweater, um, jeans, whatever, like you may be very casual looking or you feel plain. A lot of people would say that you're above average and that you stand out in many ways. Some of you, you may even think that, oh, I'm not all that beautiful. But, and you may even say, oh, my face isn't perfect. I'm not symmetrical. But you, because I was hearing that from some of you, but it's not true. You're very beautiful just the way you are. And just like Eva Mendez, like, you're very pretty because or beautiful, attractive with the facial features you've been given because they all work together. So some of you may say, oh, I have a big nose, you know, or that kind of thing, or big ears. And other people don't see you that way. So you're seeing... And this is not for everybody, but for some of you, you know who you are. You're seeing all these imperfections when you look in the mirror, but that's not how other people see you. They see you, they secretly like rate your beauty as pretty high, higher than what you think. And I'm hearing that song, She Don't Know She's Beautiful by Sammy Kershaw. That song comes through in my reading sometimes when somebody doesn't know their worth and they are actually really, really, well, you know your worth, but you don't know how beautiful you are. And you're not showy about it. You're very humble about it. So you have that humble, the humbleness about you, which I think is another reason why Jordan Sparks came through too, because she's very beautiful, but she's very humble too. You know, she's not very showy or pretentious. Spirit is saying too that you might feel very self-conscious in clothing that it like hugs your body a little too tightly. So maybe you feel more comfortable in like baggy clothes or like baggy sweaters with like, you know, that cover up your booty or baggy clothes. I don't know. Something like that. Um, if that is the case, um, just know that like whatever you wear, you look great in it. You can be confident to feel good in whatever revealing or tight-fitted clothes that you want to you should be able to wear whatever you want spirit is saying um, but you may feel better in baggy clothes just maybe you feel a little bit more confident or comfortable in baggy clothes for some of you and some of you may like to wear men's inspired clothing i am um hearing that and you might have been attracted to pile two as well because that came through for pile two so if you are somebody who is a woman that likes to wear men's inspired clothing or a man who man who likes to wear women's inspired clothing i would definitely say try pile two because there could be some messages for you there um i just heard your beauty is flawless and it, in photos i think sometimes people are like no, that's airbrushed because <laughs> I was hearing that. No, 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 that that's a filter when it actually isn't. And some people, they may wonder like, are you wearing some kind of natural blush or are your cheeks always that rosy? Like you have a healthy glow about you, clear eyes. You have like a pretty iris color, something very, very beautiful about your eyes, no matter what color. You may think your eyes are very plain, but they're actually not plain at all. There could be, some of you could have two-toned eyes that almost look two different colors, depending on the light or how you look at them, or they literally have like a mix of like green or brown. You know what I mean? Like, like green on the inside and brown on the outside. I'm seeing something like that. Like two different colors. Interesting. Pretty. But you may think your eyes are very plain, but they're actually not. I'm hearing like you don't give yourself enough credit. Sometimes when you don't even know it, you could just be walking around. I think people are thinking nice things about you in their mind. Others notice you. They do think that you, you could possibly be a celebrity if you wanted to. If you wanted to, you know, maybe some of you are in the spotlight. And if so, then a lot of people think, wow, you're going to go far. But if you're not yet, 
there's definitely a possibility for you to go far because you're one of those people that a lot of people look up to with the personality too, not just the looks. But some people might assume that like, for some of y'all out there, you're almost looking too good. <laughs> and some people with all those like swords in the, what this really reminds me of is like plastic surgery. I know, I know that might sound gruesome, but it kind of reminds me of plastic surgery. So some people might actually like think that you got like plastic surgery because you looked so good. Like an eye lift, Botox injections, lip fillers or face facial fillers or something like that. Okay, whether you did or you didn't. I don't know why I was hearing that, but um, some of you could just be really, I don't know, like good with animals or maybe even live on a farm or something like that because... I was really sensing that with this card, like that you could be very someone, somebody who's very, very good with animals. Um, this is, this is very specific, but um, there could be somebody here who um might have ADHD, and that's just coming through for some of you. That's not going to be for everybody, but somebody here could have ADHD, attention or ADD, attention deficit disorder where you kind of have a hard time paying attention so that is coming through for somebody it's not going to be for everybody all right so now i'm going to do the letter tiles and channeling portion this is just for extra confirmation for those of you who enjoy the extra confirmation I'm going to be channeling a few names. I might say your name or your, your first, middle, or last name. And I might even say some names of people that you know. Just let that be confirmation. If you don't hear any names of people that you know or yourself, you can look in the letter tiles for your name or initials. First, middle, or last. Okay. And you can duplicate letters if you need to. And if everything's there except one, it still counts. Okay. I'm hearing some names already from Spirit. I was hearing Lynn, Millie, Mila, Gertrude. That could be somebody's grandma's name. Mildred. <laughs> Those are definitely older names. Um, Anita, Aaron. Ahmed, Adrian, Micah, Marcel, Winston, Ryder, Toby, Yeah, I was thinking of like Tobey Maguire. You could actually, if you're a guy, you could look like Tobey Maguire, um, Spider-Man. I can show you what he looks like in a little bit if you don't know. Or have that like hero kind of attitude, like, you know, very heroic vibes. And with that umbrella that was here too, that kind of reminds me of somebody who's very good at like healing other people or like guarding people from pain. Like I was saying in the beginning, like, you know, you've been through pain, so you're, you're very good at, like, helping other people that have gone through pain. Okay, the name Milton is here. That could be a last name. Echo? Or Eckhart? Eckhart? Kind of reminds me of Eckhart Tolle, the author. Some of you may enjoy his books. Um, I was hearing Martinez, Martina, Calvin, John, Janelle, Jana, 
Janice. Demi. Avril. Morgan. Maggie. Margaret. Mashi. Mookie. <laughs> I've never heard that name before, but that's a cute name, I must say. Mookie. I like that. So if your name is Mookie, please let me know, because I've never heard that. It's adorable. Yeah, Misha. I don't know if I said that already. Belinda. Bricker. That could be a last name, Bricker. Buck. Bailey. Haley. Some of you could be from Canada. Rita. Ritza. Rosa. Rochelle or Rochelle. Rachel. Bonita. Chad. Charlie. Chuck. Champion. Charleston. That could be a last name. Charles. Ch Chaz. Chase. Rachel. Andy, Elizabeth, Raina, Raquel, Reginald, or Reggie, Roxy, Aaliyah, this, there's a singer, Aaliyah, maybe you like her music. Alejandro. I was hearing that song. Ali Alejandro. Ali Alejandro. So your name could be Alejandro. Or you could know somebody with that name just to be a confirmation. Barry. Patty. Mary. Marion. Monique. Monica. Dom. Dee Dee, yeah, so I was hearing Dominic and Dominique, interesting. Chest, Chester, I don't know, <laughs> Chester. That name came through like a couple weeks ago when I was channeling, and I was like, Chester, hmm, interesting name. I don't hear that name, like, ever. But hey, if your name's Chester, please let me know. Bob. Oh, wow. I don't think I shook these up very well. Or it was just meant to be. I thought I shook it up. I, I thought I was digging in there deep enough. Oh gosh, we got Night and Pile too. I got a lot of charms here, so. All right, I think that's good. Why I said that is because we got some of these in Pile 1. <laughs> so, if you were drawn to Pile 1, you may get something out of that. You could be a tarot card reader because we got this here, which is all about, you know, somebody who's reading tarot cards. Or people could um, be getting tarot cards done, read on uh, about you. Um, somebody is thinking you look absolutely fantastic in a bikini. If you are somebody who enjoys wearing bikinis, that is. There's somebody who um, has a loved one in spirit that has a message for them. So I would say look in here in the tiles and play spiritual scrabble and see if you can find any words that stand out to you that might be something important from a message from a loved one spirit you know just wanted me to bring that forward 
You could really like aliens or maybe you're a star seed. Somebody definitely would say you have a nice booty. A lot of people would agree you have a nice booty. You have a very hopeful attitude and disposition. It's like that never, never give up kind of feeling. You're very loving. You're very resourceful. You could get to, um, you could really like to get deals on stuff, saving money and that kind of thing. You have um, a dog here that could be coming through that is a beloved pet um, that is in your energy. If you see this dog's name in here, this dog is with you. This could be a dog from your childhood that has passed on, okay? Or a dog that is living, that its energy is just with you. But there's definitely an energy or a presence of a, do of a dog here. So please look for the name here and let me know. And again, a heart for the amount of love that you really exude out into this world and a leaf for your growth. So you're very, you're very much somebody who's growing all the time as a person. Yeah, so you can play Spiritual Scrabble and see what words pop out at you. Um, I'm seeing like jolt. I think that when people see you, they're jolted by your presence, by your looks. Something about you is jolting. It can be taken by surprise. Um, you may have a bold look about you or a bold presence. Some of you look... Some of you look very young. I'm seeing child or you could have a child. Take it either way. Uh, mid line. Some of you have a very nice stomach region. Um, nice thighs too, I just heard. Thighs. If you're a woman, you look great in thigh highs. I'm definitely seeing bikini, bikini here, and the bikini babe in the tiles. Emotions. I just heard that song by Mariah Carey, Emotions. You've got me feeling emotions higher than I ever dreamed of. So you could be a Mariah Carey fan, or maybe you look like Mariah Carey. Okay. That could be coming through for some of y'all too, or have her kind of energy, her, the kind of energy and personality that she exudes or her vibes. Um, I was hearing Buck Cherry. Um, there's a song, Crazy, B-I-T-C-H. You may like that song. Um, <laughs> one of my personal favorites, just to listen to, to kind of, jam out with um yeah it's just a fun song by buck cherry you may want to listen to it um just for giggles but uh you could look like buck cherry let me show you what buck cherry looks like i'll also I'll show you a mariah carey in case you don't know um but yeah buck cherry <laughs> Kind of looks like a little bit of like, kind of like Tommy Lee, you know, like Tommy Lee Jones, Pamela Lee Jones, um, ex-husband. But yeah, this is him. You could have tattoos. Okay, lots of tattoos, dark hair, that kind of thing. Buck Cherry. And then I'll show you Mariah Carey. Yeah, so you could have, like, batty energy. Okay, here is Mariah Carey. And I know, like, Mariah Carey, her weight has fluctuated over the years. It's so, like, she can go from, like, like a skinny mini to, like, plus size and just kind of, like, go back and forth. So you could have weight fluctuations, but look beautiful at any size. Here she is. You could have, like, a beauty mark uh, near your mouth. She's just a, a bright, lively spirit. So, yeah, you could be a very good singer, too. Maybe that's why you're like her. She's 
She has a beautiful face. She has quite a presence about her. A niceness too. A, a real down to earth type of vibe. Okay. I think that's it. Don't forget to check out the subscriber bonus. It's going to be all about why would your celebrity crush fall in love with you? So that'll be really fun. If you're not a subscriber yet, it's not too late. You can become a subscriber and I will channel your energy as my way to say thank you for being part of this awesome community. And so if you're already a subscriber, head on over. And if you're a new subscriber or you want to be included, just hit the subscribe button and head on over, okay? There's a subscribe button uh, right below the screen. You'll find it. Um, so yeah. And if you'd like a personal reading, I do offer those. You can find more info in my description box below. And if you'd like to join my Patreon, I have an 18 plus uncensored Patreon. All the info for that and a link is in my description box below as well. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. It helps me to buy things for the channel, such as tarot cards, oracle cards, candles, sage, and gemstones just to keep things fun and interesting. So like I said, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And if you want to pause the video and play spiritual Scrabble for a little bit more or spiritual word search, you can certainly do that and let me know what you see in the tiles. That would be awesome. Definitely be sure to leave a comment if you thought that this resonated with you and hit that like button because that's gonna really help too. Helps my channel, helps me to know if you enjoyed this type of reading. And I hope to see you on over at the subscriber bonus. Bye. Hello and welcome. I'm so happy to have y'all here with me. This is my way of saying thank you to all of my subscribers. Those of you who've been with me for a while and those of you who are brand new, I just appreciate y'all. Why would your celebrity crush fall in love with you? We're gonna take a look. So Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my subscriber base here who is here today with, with us and here to find out why their celebrity crush would fall in love with them. What would make their celebrity crush fall in love with them? You're a healer. I think you're very, very much a healer. You're somebody who's an empath. You seem to understand betrayal. You're somebody who in the past you could have been betrayed. You could have been lied to, but you learned to go within and go deep and get over it. You're also somebody who's extremely good looking, beautiful on the inside and just as beautiful on the outside. I just heard Peacock. You're very attractive. You would attract this silver Kush with your outside but then i think that the celebrity crush would really get to know you and be like wow that's a really great person but yeah you have an attractive a very attractive outer shell so your body is very attractive um i don't know why but some of y'all might have blue hair okay like you could have stripes in your hair or something like that like that's not gonna be for everybody but for some of y'all you have like different colored dye in your hair and it's just, oh, look at that. Are you kidding me? Look what came out right on top. As I said that, we have the two different color hair. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Thank you, spirit. So yeah, uh, your celebrity crush would fall in love with you because your hair's so pretty. It doesn't matter if it's two-toned or not, but like, you know, you have really beautiful hair. You have an interesting style about you too, like the way that you dress and you have you are taking good care of your nails here and also the vehicle you drive isn't too shabby either some of you have really nice vehicles and you have great style you have great taste your taste is um you have an elegance about your taste you have really nice taste in cars you know quality items you know quality clothes you know quality handbags you know quality um like like I want to say like suits or blazers or like you know what I mean name brands and stuff like that like you know quality and you really it doesn't even matter like if you're wearing a suit or you're wearing sweatpants like you know quality so and you shop for quality 
It doesn't mean you get the most expensive things, but you know how to shop for quality. You, yeah, L Prime. So you will pay a little bit more to get qu high quality. Um, even if you're getting stuff at, you know, cheaper prices, like it doesn't matter because it looks so good. Your crush would fall in love with you because of your taste. I mean, you don't look slouchy. You look like tasteful and quite bougie, to be honest. Um, your celebrity crush would feel like you're a good match. You know, they wouldn't be embarrassed to be seen out in public with you or on the with the paparazzi taking pictures. You represent yourself really well with the clothing choices. And I just heard you clean up nicely too. So you can go from, you know, like a casual kind of look where you're just kind of like, eh, you know, schlepping around the house and you can really get dressed up and look like dressed to the nines and look fantastic. So you could definitely pull up, pull off a red carpet look. So I just heard like, you could actually do like something on a catwalk. I don't know if some of y'all are in modeling or something, but y'all could be good at model, like modeling or your celebrity crush would be, maybe encourage you to get into modeling or something like that. But, whoa, okay, wow. Okay, we got a lot of cards here. I can't take all those. <laughs> you have star quality, so you could, be that kind of person that has like that je ne sais quoi, as the French call it, that star quality, that it quality that everybody wants. So they would see you as an equal. Your, your celebrity crush would see you as an equal and somebody who would definitely represent them well. And the two of you would make such a cute couple. Like if, if you ever put your picture by them side by side, like they would say that y'all look cute together. Yeah, like last selfie, you look good. And this person would want to take pictures with you. See how she's got her phone and she's taking pictures of herself? It says last selfie. This person, your celebrity crush, would love to just take a bunch of pictures with you and be like one of those cute couples that like does like the blogging together or the vlogging. I'm definitely seeing that. They would be like, let's take pictures and like let's post them on the internet and like do like couple stories and like little couples blogs and stuff. Yeah. And I'm saying the two, like, this person would be very affectionate with you because you have soft skin. Um, you have a nice body. You have, like, a nice muscle tone to your body. You can have, like, a really nice tattoo on your arm, like, of a, a rose or something. It doesn't matter what, what it is, but you could have, like, some kind of tattoo on your arm, okay? Could be a flower, but it also could be, like... I'm seeing like it could be a moon, some kind of feather, infinity, um, something like that, Roman numeral sign, something like that. You're very outgoing, okay? The introvert, introvert is like upside down, so you wouldn't be shy. You would approach this person with confidence. So they'd be like, hey. So like immediately, I feel like they would feel like you're a match, you're a direct match with them because you'd be very confident around them. You wouldn't have your head hanging down or anything like that. When you, if you were to meet them, your celebrity crush, you'd be like looking right in their eyes and just being like, hey, this is me, how you doing? And they'd be, they would be like very open and receive you very well. Your makeup's really on point if you're doing your makeup and um, it looks very classy and well done. So, this person would definitely, like I said, want to take like lots of pictures with you, want to do videos and stuff. This person would not be embarrassed because you're a very like natural, beautiful person, but also like you can enhance your looks with makeup because you know what you're doing. You honestly do. Um, your crush might have a man bun or you could have a man bun or you could have like long hair that looks good, whether it's up in a bun or down. Um, something here about a beard, um, you or your your celebrity crush could have a beard, okay? Um, brown or black hair. Scorpio, you or this person could be a Scorpio. Sun, moon, or ascendant. Or just be very, like, mysterious looking. And then you're, you definitely are somebody with a voice. You're definitely somebody who... Um, isn't afraid to speak out with law activists. You're not, you're not afraid to like, yeah, put your voice out there, be heard and all that. So like definitely your crush would, um, your celebrity crush would be 
super proud to be with you too because of who you are as a person. Now, I'm going to shake these up really well. All right. All right. Spirit Wilds with their celebrity crush. Fall in love with them. All right. Ooh, look at this. So we've got the heart. So your celebrity crush would fall in love with your your big giant heart. You're very loving. Um, you're an angel. Also, yeah, you you could almost be like look like a fairy, like small features. Um, like you could literally like have this like glow about you, but be very like almost like if you're a woman, like be very dainty or have like small features on your face. Oh my gosh, we got the all-knowing bean. Um, I love this one. Yeah, actually, I made this charm. I thought it was cute. Um, the idea came to me one day. So this is one of my favorite charms. So it's cute that this came out. You could be very um, psychic and gifted and your third eye is very open. So your crush would definitely, your celebrity crush would fall in love with the fact that you're very psychic. Yeah, you're very wise with the owl there. The owl is about wisdom, so you're very psychically wise. And also, you could be very musically inclined here with the cat, with the drum. He's a cat drummer. <laughs> Actually, I made all these white ones I made. Um, I drew. But yeah, um, you could be like a musician or you're very talented with like your singing voice or something like that. And so they would fall in love with you because of your talent, whatever that may be. Um, yeah, see how, like, this person has, like, the multicolored hair and stuff? You have a unique, like, interesting or bold style about you, which they would fall in love with. Your eyes are very beautiful, and it's, like, looking into the eyes is, like, the window that's a soul, so they would fall in love with your beautiful eyes and your beautiful soul. You could be, um, a Sagittarius, or, or maybe your celebrity crush is. Um, this person would treat you like a king or a queen or a princess and like totally dote on you. And they would view you as like very, very regal, fine. It says here, um, made for you. So they would think that like you, the two of you were made for each other. And look at this Cupid's bow. Their heart would be like struck by Cupid's bow. They would fall in love with you right away. Your celebrity crush would feel like y'all are like meant to be like you fit together like some kind of perfect design. We got the quilt here. Like, think about how a quilt with all the little patchwork and all that, like, it all fits together as a perfect design. So you and your celebrity crush would fit together like a perfect fit. A perfect two. We're the perfect two. And then, um, then there's this, which your celebrity crush would want to grow with you. And we got the fairy. So we got an angel and a fairy, so... Yeah, again, with the fairy, that's like double confirmation. They would think you're very magical, so that's why they would fall in love with you. They would fall in love with you pretty fast, too. <laughs> that's what I was getting. I hope you really enjoyed this, my, my subscribers. Thank you again, and I really appreciate you all. Thanks for being part of this awesome tribe, and um, it just means a lot to me. And thank you to all my Patreon members, too, and thank you to all my channel members. I hope y'all have a good rest of your day or evening or whenever you're seeing this. And until next time, bye.